Hey YouTube, it's Alex. <laughs> I am officially 36 weeks today, full term, 9 months. I think that's so exciting. Um, this is literally my sixth time doing this video. The first video was perfect timing, but at the very end, my belly shot was like not in focus. It was like I was off to the side and it was hard to see. All the other videos, way over time. So I finally have my iPod stopwatch out because me looking at the time, I would forget what time I started and then I would just go over. So this is an actual stopwatch. So if I talk fast, I'm sorry. Um, just in my other videos, I'm basically saying, um, you know, I'm just really excited because, you know, I didn't think that I was going to get to 36 weeks with him still in my tummy. So it's an amazing accomplishment. It's amazing accomplishment for every pregnant person because 36 weeks just really, really reassures you, you know, that if you have your baby now and after, your baby sh most likely would not have any complications. And you, your probability of taking your baby two days or three days if you have a C-section after he's born or she's born and then you get to take him home. In my case, I was pretty sure that my baby was going to be a preemie. I was pretty sure that the baby was going to be in the NICU and I was pretty sure that I wasn't going to be able to hold him right when he came out like most mothers could. But now that I'm 36 weeks, my dream of having him laid on me right after he's born is pretty much there now, um, especially since he's had his steroid shot a few weeks ago. So I'm super duper excited. Um, I also said in my other videos that, you know, this pregnancy has been, has I had a lot of scary, scary moments, but I've gotten through it and I'm just so happy. And then before we got pregnant, we had our miscarriage and before that it took over a year. You know, so I'm just really, you know, going memory, down memory lane, you know, thinking my husband and I met when we were 11. We've been friends, like, more than half of our lives, and we're just so, I'm just so excited that I'm, like, having a baby with a guy that I've known forever, and having a baby with a guy that has such an amazing heart, and he's not a normal 22-year-old. Normal 22-year-olds or guys are retarded. <laughs> and loud and annoying and so immature and into partying all the time. My husband's not. He's very mature. When he does want to drink, he wants to drink with me at my house alone um, and just with close friends. He doesn't like, you know, we don't like going to big parties. We just like to be with close family and close friends. He likes to be a home buddy. He likes to be at home. We go out with friends that are good people. I'm very fortunate to have such a great, responsible, funny, lovable husband, um, and he's been so great um, throughout this whole thing. With the whole hospital scare, he was just right there and holding on to my hand, telling me to breathe. Um, when I do have bad contractions here, he really holds my hand and pays attention to me, and then when they're over, he'll like rub my tummy or rub my back, and really, he soothes me. He makes me feel great. So I'm very happy to have him, and just knowing that I've known him since I was 11 makes us having a baby even more exciting, um, extremely exciting. So um, basically that's what I was saying in my other videos. I didn't really talk too much about symptoms, but um, symptoms, I'm constantly still having Braxton Hicks. Um, they do show up with the contraction machine, that's why I start calling them contractions, because they're like, you are having contractions. I'm like, I thought those were just Braxton Hicks. So I'm going to start calling them Braxton Hicks again because I'm still having them and they're not doing anything for me. So I'm just going to wait for the painful ones to happen. I have had a few painful ones at home, but then it will just be one or two and then they will stop. So I haven't been able, you know, to count those as anything. I'm just really hoping my water breaks naturally, which is rare. That way I can be like, okay, now it's, you know, let's go to the hospital. This is it. No turning back from your membranes being ruptured, right? Um, or just continue, even though I hate saying this, but continuous painful contractions, like continuing, continuing painful, painful ones. That way I will know for sure and I won't be confused because these ones are just too confusing. There's a couple times where my husband's like, I think we should go to the hospital, and there's a couple times where my mom was even saying that you should go to the hospital just in case because. Even the doctor's biggest concern is that my labor is going to go extremely fast because I'm already 
more than three centimeters dilated or I'm 100% thinned out. So, yes, it is scary for me. I'm, I'm scared that, uh, that it's going to happen. Um, I just ignored my phone, my husband's phone call because I don't want to make any more of these videos. Um, so he's probably like, what the hell? But anyways, um, so a lot of Braxton Hicks. My husband, <laughs> so funny, he pointed out that my, uh, my boob was leaking the other day. I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> more leakage. And he thinks it's gross. And when he thinks it's gross, it makes me laugh. Because I, I love gross things. <laughs> So funny. Like I said, we've been, you know, best friends way before we even fell in love. So it's I can have that personality with him. Um, so yeah. Suka, our dog, has been even extra, extra lovey. Um, my family says it's because she knows that the baby's going to be here soon, too. Um, we just really hope that he'll be home for Halloween. I did want him on Halloween, but now I want him to be home for Halloween because it will feel, like, perfect to have my little family because last year I had no one because my husband had to be in training. I had my friend Sam, which was nice. Um, but, you know, who doesn't want, you know, I want my family to be with me for my favorite holiday. So I think that would be cool. We're going to get um, some candy soon. And we already bought some decorations and we're going to buy more. Um, and I'm really excited for that. I'll have to sh make a video on, you, on, my, on my house. I won't be as exciting because I live in an apartment complex. But it's still going to be cool. Um, so yeah, we're doing really, really great. Just waiting for baby Dante to come out. Dante Alexander Hernandez. Uh, I just can't wait to hold him. I'm super excited to see, um, my husband hold him because, you know, I'm the mama. I've been carrying him for nine months and my bond is way bigger than, um, with him than Paul bond with him, you know, even my husband said that, you know, like, I know Dante's going to love you more because of this and that, and it won't, and, and he says it won't bother him at all because, you know, it makes sense, I've been carrying him this whole time, you know, I'm going to be breastfeeding, he can't, so he's perfectly fine with that, so I just can't wait to see him hold his son, um, without me even touching him, you know, me being a distance, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is just perfect, I think I'm definitely going to cry, um, yeah, I just can't wait. Um, we're debating if we're going to have the baby at the Navy or at the, the hospital I just got back from because I loved it there. I loved the nurses. The doctor was great. Um, the facility was huge. And I asked the nurses, I go, how many patients do you have? And they said they, they only have two at a time. And I'm pretty sure at the Navy, which I don't like, um, they only have like two nurses on staff, I think, at night time. And there's seven rooms total. So I don't, I'm really scared about that. And I didn't like how they treated me when I just had my scare. Um, yeah, so um, I'm still debating, but it would be better. The only reason why it would be better if we did it at the Navy is because it's a lot closer to her house. And plus, Suka's going to be in her kennel, and we need to keep letting her out to go potty and eat. So we're still in debate. If we did not have a dog, we would definitely definitely have the baby uh the uh desert regional that I just came from. But since we do have Suka, um, we're thinking about Navy. So yeah. So nine months. Oh my god. Any day, any week. Um I'm shocked I haven't had him yet. But I'm not gonna be in bed rest. I'm gonna do what I did before the hospital, which is walking around doing house hold stuff like dishes and cleaning because my house is falling apart. My husband's not doing a very good job. Don't tell him I said that, um, but it's driving me crazy. I had to, like, tell him to do the dishes because he was just letting them get bad and he wasn't doing anything about it, which drove me crazy. But I haven't been mean to him because he's been nothing but great with me. Um, so, yeah, he's on his way home right now, so I'm really excited. They've been letting him home early because of my situation. Um, they're going to continue to let him home early until I have a baby, and then when we have the baby... Uh, military, I don't know about other military, but I know Marines instantly get 10 days off after the baby's born so they can be at home. Maternity leave. So, that's exciting. Um, so I'll show you guys my belly now. Here's the front. Here's the side. He's kicking right there. His foot is sticking out. There you go. And I want to mention really, really quick, before I go way over time, because I'm getting close. 
Um, I do have Facebook finally for YouTubers only. It's Alex Hernandez. I'll put a link down there. There's another one that you guys have probably have seen, Alexandra Hernandez. I will not accept you guys because, um, you know, I made the other one for you, for you, and I like this one, Alexandria one, to be more for family. I do have some YouTubers on there, and I'm, I think I'm going to tell them, I'm telling you guys now, I think I'm going to delete you guys off of that one, and then just have you guys on my other one, Alex Hernandez. That way I can keep them separate. Um, I don't have internet on my phone. I have a Blackberry, but... I only did the internet on my phone when I first got the Blackberry because this one my husband, um, during that time he was my uh, fiance and he was in Iraq and I didn't have, I lived on my own and I didn't, I couldn't afford internet on my computer so I got internet on my phone to email him back and forth and then when he got back I turned it off. So I won't be able to update you guys, um, my, my mom can update my Facebook to tell you guys what's going on. Um, and then also AE Sweetie Victoria will update you guys on her YouTube um, to let you guys know how it's going on. Because she's the only one that has my phone number. I won't give my phone number out to anyone else. Just her. Um, she did update you guys on my scare at the hospital. And that's how you guys know. So I'll do that with her as well. So, okay. I hope everyone's doing good. And I'll talk to you later.